Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. We just arrived at Harris Resort, yes. Southern California. Yes. Here you go. You can see it there. Yeah. And we're in Bunner, Bunner, California. Yeah, which is like uh, North San Diego County, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Yeah, so, you know, uh, a few weeks ago we went to Morongo. We did. So now we're going to try Harris out and see mm -hmm. what they have. Yeah, we're going to uh, be lazy around the pool. Yeah. We're going to see what they have to offer here. And this is the same uh, company, Casino, that runs Caesar's Palace in Vegas. Yeah. All of those Caesar Palace, or all of the Caesar Group, that is Harris in Vegas, Caesar's Palace, The Link. All the same right, company. Right up there, it's a Caesar Rewards. So yeah. you could use your Caesar Rewards benefits. You can. Here, yeah. here in Southern California. Right, yeah. right. So yeah, we just got our room uh, key. So we're going to give you a room tour. You let's ready? Let's go. Let's go. All right, we just walked into our room. This is called a Dive In King Room. Not a Dive King Room, but a Dive In King Room. So check it out inside this little closet. That's where we have our little in room safe. Iron and board and iron and a pretty good size of bathroom. Check yeah. it out. Take it away, babe. Here is the toilet in separate room. Here is our mirrors. Look at that. Nice little tub there. Yeah, little. I have to say, this is very highly polished too. Yeah, look at that. Good job. Yeah. Not bad. And it's a regular tub, not like a whirlpool tub or anything like we'll that. Check out the shower. Oh, the shower. Separate shower. And they give you all of your stuff on the wall. Right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's pretty nice, right? I so like it. Come on out. This is the uh, the living room area and, and the bed. Our king size. Pretty good size. And on this side, we have a, a smaller te television. But we do have a, a working desk. Now, they asked uh, what floor we want, and we got the ground level. Now, how many times can you get a ground level floor, right? Mm -hmm. Here it is. Don't have to worry about elevators. Right. Go check out our view. It's it's really of like the driveway. Yeah, it's here. like the in, it's the entrance. Yes, and we have a good sized couch, mm -hmm. uh, some uh, sitting chair right mm -hmm. here. And how much was it per night here? One seventy one. That's after taxes. Okay, one seventy one. This is for a midweek stay. Yes, and there are no resort fees here. Yes, almost forgot to point out. We do have a in room little refrigerator cooler. There it is right there. I just put my Gatorade in there. But yeah, that wraps up our uh, king size uh, bed here. Dive in at Eris. So far, it's a pretty big casino. We were only in this one section, but there are a lot of little arms, I guess you could say, or sections here. So we're gonna go walk around. It is a smoking casino, so keep in mind that uh, we're gonna go, uh, but it's a lot of high ceilings here. So we're gonna go walk around and see what's here. I don't think there's actually a food court here, but they're kind of spread out. Right behind me is Smash Burgers. And then for you Earl of Sandwich fans, they have a big one here. Check this one out. Now, uh, I don't think they open too late. I think they close around 10 p.m. or so. But it varies during the week, so if you want your Euro sandwich, you gotta get it early. Here at Euro sandwich, I believe these are the average prices, about eleven dollars, or actually it is eleven dollars per sandwich. I think, I think that's the average price. I'm not really sure. I don't visit Earls that often, but it's not that bad of a deal. They have soups and salads, pretty much anything that you feel like having. Yeah, here it is. Here's the menu right here. Oh, look at this one. Limited time, Cannonball sandwich. Right here, baby. Oh, Rico. yeah. We've had this one. It's really good. Now, we'll be honest here. One of the reasons why we came to Harris is because they just opened a Hell's Kitchen restaurant here. There's only three, huh, baby? There's, there's only, only three. There's only three, right, in North America, which is uh, Las Vegas, of course, Lake Tahoe, and here in Southern California. That's I, it. I would have I thought there was one going to be in New York or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I would have thought enough. so too. Yeah. And this is the largest Hell's Kitchen out of the three, also. Looking forward to it. So, of course, there's no reservations. Yeah. We're going to try to sneak in as a walk-in. Yes. But that'll be on a separate video, so stay tuned for that one. This is one of the restaurants. If we don't get into Hell's Kitchen tonight, they have Chinese food here, KJ's Chinese restaurant. They have some other places as well. But look at this big menu here at the Chinese restaurant. Yeah, very big menu, yeah. but it's not cheap. A lot of the dishes are like 
$25-$30 range. They do have a lot of choices here they though. They do have a lot. Hey, this is the first machine you're playing here. Yeah, it's a little bit different, which is interesting. I saw someone play this earlier and this like whole screen like moves. And so we'll see if I can get it to move. Yeah. Oh, you're at critical levels, babe. Oh, something's happening. Yay! What happened? Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. We'll let you know if you win something big. Here we go. Hey, not bad. You went from 35 cents to 30.65. Yeah, my 35 cents plus the 30 bucks. Not yeah, bad. Not bad. Interesting little game. Here's the Starbucks. It's right near where you park. This is open. There are some places in here that are closed. We're wondering if it's only open in the morning, which we'll find out in the morning, or if it's only open on weekends. We're not sure. Uh, I know there was a bar down here that's open Wednesday through Sunday. So we'll go ahead and walk around. We'll be here in the morning and we'll see what's open, what's closed. But here's the Starbucks. Yeah, At I, least we know Starbucks will be open. This Starbucks is 24 hours. Oh, look at this. One, right there. Is their cafe prime of dinner is 36 bucks again not the cheapest but they're really pushing their reward credit program because you can pay with these meals with your reward credit so that's kind of cool and it tells you how many reward credits that you need to use so if you have a lot of reward credits for Caesars group you can get free meals here yeah and just to note that there are no 24 hour restaurants here no so this isn't. one also closes late at night it does yeah here it is There it is, prime rib. Yeah, and you see a reward for it. That's how much you would get. And if you have that many, you can get a free prime rib dinner. So it's 3,600 reward credits. Yeah, that's our big thing here. Other than, other than that, it's $36. Uh, uh, how many how many reward credits do you have? I have uh, 21,000. Oh, nice. That's going to be a free prime rib dinner. Oh, look, they got meatloaf too. One of my faves. You're playing a tabletop kino. Tabletop kino, 10 cents, or actually I'm playing a dollar, because I'm taking 10 coins. A dollar a spin, and I just hit eight numbers. Whoa, and I always make fun of you, because you always play the same middle numbers mm -hmm. over here. Just like if I hit the other ones, it'd be humongous, or if it were times something crazy. So, big win, babe, big, big win. win. The Rita's Taco Truck is open. The breakfast is on the weekends, but it seems like it may be open every day. Yeah, now this is a touch yeah. of the regular restaurant. It is. This is the Mexican restaurant, but they're closed at least for a few days during the week for mm -hmm. some reason. Well, they are. So we'll see if it's open in around. Oh, usually uh, things are closed uh, Sunday, Mondays, or Monday, Tuesdays, excuse me. So we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. It's a game. What's happening? It's just a top golf swing suite. So they don't actually have top golf here, but they're big screens here where it's like the virtual top golf thing that you can swing as a screen thingy. That's over here. This is the way the uh, property looks like from the outside. Now this side is like kind of the plain side, it looks like, because the other side had the Harris sign on it. Yeah, but this is the main entrance. This is where uh, the hotel registration yeah. is. Mm -hmm, it is. And uh, there's a brewery here. And there's a, yep, the Rincon Brewery right here. Rincon Reservation Road Brewery. It looks closed. Yeah, it's a little closed. And then we see the fitness center. That's up here. Yes. The fitness center. So that's available if you want to have your workout while you're here. Yep, and a heads up. If you are not a gambler, you may be a little bored here because this is the only thing out here in Funner, California. It's only the casino. If yes. you have kids, uh, there's uh, there's a pool and uh, the pool has a lazy river, which we're going to tackle tomorrow. But if you're not a gambler, just like Bill is not a gambler, uh, it's kind of boring, baby, for it, you. Yeah, it's either the casino or these mountains. Yes, that's about no, it. There's no movie theater. There's no bowling alley. 
It's just casino. Me, I'm having fun, but I can't gamble all day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose it. So, I, I'm, we're walking around. It's a very nice night this evening. The pool hours are eight to eight. Uh, that's why we're gonna tackle it tomorrow because right now it's just about 7.30, almost eight o'clock. Yeah. So we're gonna go see if we can find the Dodger game playing in San Diego territory. No, this is uh, this is Padres country. Uh, yeah, but uh, let me see if we can find a Dodger game. Here's the night tour of the pool. So we're walking around the lazy river. Uh, it looks really cool. Look at the little, I like the little misters or the little fog they have over this little It kind of looks a little cool and spooky. Yeah, it does. Six times that. Three hundred bucks. Not bad. Thirty bucks. Oh, I got three hundred. No. Oh, Thirty shoot. bucks. Good morning, everybody. Hello. This is the next morning. It is full day over here. The reason why we didn't have any food yesterday is because we went to Hell's Kitchen. So check that video out. It's on a separate video. Yeah, we came kind of late. Yeah, know, yes, so regular check-in time. Right, exactly. Around yeah. uh, 2, 2 o'clock or so. Right, right. So we didn't have any meals yesterday. We just, just went straight just for to Hell's, Hell's Kitchen. Kitchen. Right. Now this morning we're going to hit up that cafe for breakfast. So yeah. uh, we'll see what they got. Yes. I got the single pancake. We're going to try to keep it kind of light this morning because we are going to have a little lunch later. So my single pancake. Let's do my little syrup drills. See if I can make a happy face. Yeah, that's really nice that you could get a lot of breakfast items yeah. just individually. Mm -hmm. Let's try this out. Get that in there. Prime hundred. Good. Plain town pancake. Good fry on that pancake. The butter, the syrup. Just a plain everyday pancake. So to know, we came in around eight o'clock this morning, and no wait at all. As you can see, there's a lot of open tables. But I got the in-house made biscuit and gravy. It even says on the menu, made in-house. So it looks really good. Now this is sausage gravy as well. So let's take a bite. Let's try it out. That's good. Very good. Wow. Yep. I know it looks dry, like when it just crumbled like that, but it actually is fairly moist. Sausage gravy gives it that nice sausage flavor. I don't see any sausage pieces in the gravy, but definitely has that nice sausage peppery taste. Also, you can tell that this gravy is handmade. Not really like a, like a pre-packaged or, or a canned or anything. Or like a canned like gravy, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's really good. And this is just one biscuit too. So it's perfect. This is beautiful right here. Look yeah. at that. This is the fruit explosion waffles. I'm gonna go ahead and dig on into this. So They're so cute. They're got, so little individualized. You got fresh uh, blueberries, mm -hmm. raspberry, and, and what, blackberry maybe? Yep, and you can tell that these are perfect shareable size. Small little waffles. Here we go. Good plain waffle. Nothing fancy about it. The waffle batter is just very regular, so it, the fruit really comes out on it. This is a really good simple breakfast. Mm -hmm. 
The fruit's really good. Perfect little bite size, huh, babe? Mm. Individual waffle by itself. I like it. Made it to the pool area. It's divided into two sections. Yes, it is. See? So all ages where the lazy river is, is. and uh -huh. the regular pool and the swimmer pool bar is on the adult side. Yep, and you have to bring your own floaties for the lazy river. That's right. They don't yeah. provide any here. They don't. But I think they sell them here, but you, they don't provide any. But they do provide towels. Yes. What do you think, babe? It's a little bit cold, okay, huh? It's a little bit cold. It's, it's nice outside right now. It's very pleasant. This one, the other pools, you just can walk in. This one, I gotta get a little bit adjusted to it. It's a little bit chilly. Oh, by the by, uh, just so you guys know, the floaties here they sell like uh, the regular rings and they sell like the big flamingos and stuff. They're forty-five bucks. But you can bring your own floaty and they can fill it up. For the large one, they'll fill it up for five bucks. Five this, bucks? Yeah, for oh, the wow. large one. For the okay. large one. So yeah. it's like a one, three, and five. A small, medium, large. Dollar for the small, three dollars for the medium, and five dollars for the large to fill up your floaty. So yeah. at least they help you in that sense. Yeah, so you might want to hit the uh, Amazon before you uh, before come Before you here. come back. So you can bring your floaty. It looks a lot different during during the day right oh, yeah. now. Oh yeah, we've adjusted to the water now. Yeah, but look at that. Yeah. We're gonna try to go through there. That's gonna be cool. Let's go. What's nice is this water is just moving enough, so it's actually good exercising, huh, baby? Yeah. To walk around, it's not pushing you. One of the ladies was saying it's best to walk against the current for the best exercise. Yeah. Yeah, not with the current, like right. us. Like us, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. We're not getting the best, but we're getting an okay exercise, babe. We are. We are. Love you, babe. Love you, babe. so happy. All right. <laughs> This is pretty cool. I'm gonna go under the waterfall. Under behind the waterfall. Like I see the backside of water. Oh, all right. Okay, I like it. So they literally have like maybe four or five little jacuzzis everywhere. Yeah, uh, yeah even more because it's uh, like in between cabanas and everything like that. Some of them are smaller. This is a big one here. Mm -hmm. Some of them are a little bit smaller. Right. There's a there's a giant like almost like jacuzzi, a bigger than this one that has a, a waterfall in it. Hi huh, baby, that's the one over there. Right. And right. we're on the 21 and over side right now. And the 21 and over side has that giant pool because it has even a volleyball net. Yes, and uh, it is up to five feet deep. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, I'm only five one. So oh, yeah, I'm yeah. screwed. Uh, but you know how to swim. I do. We're getting our drink on. We got our drinks, a little souvenir cup. Yep, we do. I have the Miami Vice, the yeah. strawberry daiquiri and pina colada. Yes, I'm a straight up pina. Yep. Cheers. Cheers and they sell these virgin. So the one that's in the machine, the little machine that distributes the, the strawberry daiquiri and the pina colada, those are virgin mixes. And then what he did is on the bottom of the cup, he puts in the alcohol. So yeah. you can get this virgin stuff. And that's where my straw was at the bottom. Yowza. Wow. <laughs> we're going to try out the taco truck. We are. We're going to get the right here nachos with a sada. Yeah. There it is. We're just gonna share it so we have room for dinner later. Yes. There's limited tables near the truck, so we're just in the Starbucks. The tables are very wide and open over here. Let's do the unveiling for these nachos. Now, these nachos have some weight to it. Oh, Holy moly. Wow. That's a $14 nachos right there. Well, plus $5 for meat. I think 13 yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, but they give you a lot of nachos. I mean, it's definitely shareable. I don't even know if we can finish this in one sitting, huh, baby, if you were not sharing. I know. Good, thing, good thing yeah. we didn't order two items. Yeah, we were thinking of ordering two, but right. we wanted to be hungry for dinner, so we just ordered one. They do give you some jalapenos and some more salsa on the side. But let's just try this out to see if it needs anything at all. It has a lot of stuff. 
It does. I, uh, you are given a choice between um, the beef or the chicken. Or you can have it just naked. Yes, here we go. Oh, they got some black beans in here as well. They put a lot of, like, uh, what is this, white white cheddar or something? Mm -hmm. With some sour cream. It does have pico de gallo on it. And the chips are nice and crispy. And that's what always makes the nachos, is good chips. Would you get it again? I would. Oh. I would. You know, the, the only thing missing is some guacamole. I wish they had like a, a big dollop of guac on here. Steak, good. Nice and seasoned. See, I can get this perfect bite going on. There you go, I have some steak on there. Let's go ahead and get some of this cheese on here. They also there melted some cheese, almost like, the, like that little liquid cheese, right? Yeah. On here. So, sour cream, cheese, look at that. That's good. Perfect shareable. I think we need a beer. We have a Diet Pepsi though, right here. Oh, you do. You don't have to do. Yeah. A little update for the uh, for the table playing. Yes. Uh, the craft table, fifteen dollars minimum. Yes. And how much was the roulette? Was twenty, uh, right? Twenty, I believe. Yeah, it was twenty dollar at the roulette. Table. At least the ones that we passed. I'm not sure. We didn't see too many tables, but the tables that we passed, that was the minimum. And here in Harris, you have to be twenty one and over to gamble. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. But nearby is Paula. Uh, and not, not Paula. Yeah. Palma. Palma. P a u m a. Palma, a Palma. Paula. Yeah, there's a Paula one too, but that's a little bit further. So it's Palma, and that's 18 and over. Yeah, I believe Paula is as well. Yeah. What'd you get? So I got five of a kind. I don't know how much I got. Maybe 640 or maybe more than that. Oh, it's still going yeah. up. And nine dollars. Nine dollars. Whoa. Not bad. So that might buy us some ice cream later. Yeah, so, so far. I am behind. I won that two hundred dollars yesterday, baby. Yeah. I think, and I've already dipped into the two hundred dollars, so I'm probably behind. Maybe about a hundred bucks. So you so don't win all the time. I don't win all the time. Just chilling though. He's working on the videos. I'm just chilling, getting some points on my card. You know the usual stuff. We're back at the cafe for uh, early dinner. Yes. Right yes. Now. Mm -hmm. Because they have prime rib available, and mm -hmm. I, I don't want them to run out. Right, right. And, and uh, we were passing the cafe yesterday, mm -hmm. and it gets busy here the later we wait. Yes. So we're eating a little early. Yeah, yeah. So let's go check it out. Let's go. We got seated, got our menus. Check it out, the chop house. You can see that they have the prime rib option right there, as well as some other stuff too. And you know what else I see on top of the uh, all-time faves is a meatloaf. And they have pot roast as well. Salisbury steak. Now, how many places still serve Salisbury steak? Well, that's like an old-time classic. Yeah, right I like there. their pasta. Yeah. That yeah, looks interesting. So they do have a lot of selections here. So, uh, but I think we'll try to get the prime rib. So we were going to check out the Chinese place, but there's no dim sum today, and the prices are just too much. We couldn't handle that. It was like my favorite jook kanji. Uh, it was like twenty-five dollars, and it's like that's a lot of money for kanji. So. We skipped it, we decided to come back to the cafe, and now he's gonna actually try the prime rib. He's been wanting to try the prime rib, but we didn't know if we are gonna do the cafe twice in one day, but we're here. This looks really good. Mixing in that sour cream, thank, thank you. you. No Mixing in that sour cream, has mushrooms in there. Look at all the beef it has in there. Wow. Yeah. This looks really good. Even some uh, what's garlic toast or yeah, something? Yeah, and some yeah. garlic toast. All of their pastas come with garlic toast. So I'm just waiting for this to cool off a bit. They gave me a spoon. Let me see. Let me try this. So I make sure I don't burn it. Oh wow. That's good tasting. I think I need to just a little bit of pepper though. Mm -hmm. Beef is nice and tender. Good chasing that sauce. The noodles are perfectly cooked. These are egg noodles, and it's really good tasting. Good, mu good mushrooms. 
That's a good size serving, too. It is. Pretty big. I think it's very hearty, which I really like. I'm going to hit this up with a little bit of pepper, and it'll be perfect after that. Garlic bread. Let's go ahead and dip this in. Mmm. That's actually excellent garlic bread. Kind of reminds me. It's just a little bit like a garlic parmesan type bread. And it reminds me of like that, that um, garlic toast, you know, that's big fat ones, which is really soft in the inside. Like a Texas toast. Texas toast. Oh wow, this is delicious. You're gonna like this one, baby. They had it, a prime rib dinner. Check it out. Good size prime rib. Look at all the mashed potatoes. Huge, yeah, amount of mashed potatoes and chef selection of vegetables. Now you don't have a choice of potatoes. Like usually, I like baked potatoes with prime rib, but uh, mashed it is. They give you some gravy along the, on the side, as well as a cup of au jus. So here we go. Look at that nice little rib cap right here. Even herb crusted on the outside. Mm -hmm. See that? So it, uh, everything looks really good. You know, they asked what temperature I wanted, and of course, medium. So let's cut into this. Oh, pretty tender. Look at that. Wow. I gotta go in uh, right for the best piece, right? Here we go. That's, That's good. good. Yeah. Take a little dunk in here. Got the temperature. Yep, they did. Here we go. Wow. Now they serve the prime rib all day. Yeah, or, or until they sell out, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Very tender. Very, I don't want to say juicy, but it is not dried out. I know they kind of, um, they hit it on the grill, as you can see, but the center is a good medium. So I'm guessing these were like medium rare. And they kind of brought up to the medium temp, which is perfect, which is fine with me. Try some of this mashed potatoes out right here. Yes, thank you. Great mash. Probably needs a little bit of gravy, but that's why they put it on the, on the side for you. Okay, maybe a lot of gravy. But, yep, very good. Here we go. Prime rib, mashed potatoes. It's good dinner. We got a pro tip for you. Pro tip. Only because we figured out like Robex, the little smoothie place is open, is closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. So we're in the mood for some smoothie or ice cream in the gift shop. Look at this restart. Yes, they have quite a bit, but I think we're going to get uh, like a pint of Ben, ben and Jerry's. Yeah, and people have been buying them. Look at that. It's been empty. It was completely full when we checked last time. So yeah. people have been buying them. So we're going to get a pint and share. We are ending our night with some ice cream. Yes. We went to the store, which we showed you. Mm -hmm. We had tons of half pints of ice cream, and we decided on this one, Americone Dream. Americone Dream? Yeah, but it has a vanilla ice cream with fudge covered waffle cone and pieces, oh, uh, pieces of fudge cone, waffle cone, and, um, and car caramel swirl. Wow. I completely screwed that up. Baby. That's okay, That's baby. okay. We're still going with it. Yep. People just read it right there. Yeah. See? Okay, let's try yeah. it. Eight bucks. I know it's kind of expensive. Oh, yeah, but Pretty. still, it's quite cheaper than it's some expensive. of the other dessert options yeah, here. It is. So, let's open this up. First, I would like to thank everyone who said hi to us here. Yes. Wow. We, we appreciate Daily it. Really shot. Thank you so much. Here we go. Go ahead, baby. Thanks. It's baby. hard. It certainly is. Here we go. Piece of caramel in there. Mmm. How oh, is it? Good stuff. Very creamy. Mm -hmm. We love Ben and Jerry's ice cream. A lot of unique flavors. Mm -hmm. Wow. You like it, huh? It's very good. We usually get Cherry Garcia. Um, and we always keep like a little pint at home, but might have to add this one in, huh? Oh, it's a good one. It is. It's very good. I like yeah. this one. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we recommend this one, guys. Yeah. If you're wondering what, you know, when you go to the market, you see so many different kind of Ben and Jerry's ice creams. You don't know which one to get. American yeah. Dream. Yeah, try that one out. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a wrap up, baby.
Yes. Like the trip. Oh yeah, there's a lot of caramel yeah. right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all, we had a lot of fun here. Um, like you mentioned earlier in the day, not too much stuff for non-gamblers. Right, right. If you're here. a gambler, you'll love it here. Yeah. And but, what was cool for us is we got the first floor. Who gets the first floor? We didn't have to take an elevator to go anywhere. Our, our um, yeah, room our, door was, our room like was right outside. Literally 15 steps away to the casino door. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so very convenient for that. Mm -hmm. um, I enjoyed my time here. Very chill. I like the pool. Yeah, the pool I just was nice. like the whole bunch of uh, doing nothing, pretty much. Yes, to but me. Tahara's, we're here for Southern California. To me, they have to step up their food game. It's definitely not a food or a, a foodie hangout. Other than Hell's Kitchen, the cafe was good. The prime yeah. rib was good. Yes, the but Chinese food we didn't try, but we thought it was kind of expensive. Right, but they have zero options for late night eats or any kind of twenty-four hour eats. Yeah, oh, Nothing. they only have Starbucks. Oh, that's it. Besides Starbucks. The Starbucks, right. that was it. And um, their steakhouse here, Fiori, is closed. They, I think they even have an oyster bar that is closed. So mm -hmm. those are the updates for right now of what's going on here. Mm -hmm. um, Hunter, where this is located, there's not a lot to do in this town. So you almost have to go 10 miles to Escondido. I think it's around 10 miles to Escondido to really do the outside stuff. So. Kind of like when you're at this casino, you're almost pretty much staying here at the casino and enjoying it. Right. Now, on the weekends, they do have some entertainment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, like for instance, uh, later this month, Chris Tucker is coming. Mm -hmm. And Warner. Warner, Warner is coming. the actual band, Warner mm -hmm. will be here. Yeah. So, on the weekends, they have some entertainment options, but they not do. during the week. Right. Right. Um, they have this, like, special promos for um, game playing. That's all they have during the week. Today, they had trivia night. A lot of the places are closed Mondays and Tuesdays. I know, but the Rita's Cantina, which is a uh, Mexican restaurant, mm -hmm. they're closed Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Right. All the other places like Robots and stuff like that, they were closed Monday, Tuesdays. Is there anything else, baby? Robots. Robots. It's uh, called Robots. Yeah, the smoothie place. Yeah, the smoothie place. Yeah. yeah no, I think that that's it. Yeah. Uh, we pretty much uh, covered everything there was to cover here. Yeah, uh, free parking. Mm -hmm. Free parking, right? Uh, coming to visit, yeah, if I wanted to do Hell's Kitchen again, maybe come back down here because for us it's about a two-hour drive. Um, I'm not, I, I like to gamble, but I'm not a big gambler. I don't, like, feel like, oh, I have an itch to gamble type thing. If it's there, I'll do it. Otherwise, if it's not, it's not, my huh, baby. Very big, because this is in San Diego County, very big Padre, um, what, statement here. Yeah. Right? Very big Padre statement here. All of the TVs in their bar area. There's uh, two TVs in each area. There's at least like 10 TVs actually in each area. Only two of them were showing the Dodger game. So we had to really search around for the Dodger game. Yeah, baby. So big Padre is here. So that is going to wrap up. That's it. A mm -hmm. couple of days here at the Harris mm -hmm. Resort, Southern mm -hmm. California. So uh, we That's hope you fun. enjoyed it. If you lasted this long, uh, Click and subscribe if you go want to see our, more stuff. Go see our merchandise store. It's yeah. a little long review. Yeah, we rarely pitch uh, subscribing or merchandise. We stuff. do, we do. But so, yeah, check it out. We'll see how much of this makes it into the final cut. Maybe. <laughs> it's a long review. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. We'll catch you guys on the next one. <laughs> <All right. laughs>